Yeah. All right, so we're given line one, this equation, and point A. And so what's going on here is I have a line, and somewhere I have point A. And so this is vector equation R. And I want to find point B, the general point that lies on L1. And so here we'll say point B. So point B, x, y, z, is simply going to be 1 plus 2t, two, 2, and negative 1 plus t. This is every single point on the line. And so now I'm going to consider this as a point B. This is point B. And so now I'm going to find vector AB. Vector AB here in terms of t. And so if I'm going to find vector AB, I'm going to subtract my head, subtract my tail. So it's 1 plus 2t, 1 plus 2t minus the point A, which is 3. 1 plus 2t minus 3. And then I get my second B minus a negative 5. And finally, negative 1 plus t, my z value, subtract 5. And so if I simplify this, I know that vector AB is equal to negative 2 plus 2t, 7, and a negative 6 plus t. This is vector AB. Then it says, use a scalar product to find a value of t such that AB is perpendicular to L1. Well, I'm looking to find this AB so it's in such a way so that b, if I take that vector, but if I take this point b here, right, that it's such a here, so that it is in essence perpendicular here, so that they are perpendicular. So that means I want a, b to be perpendicular to the direction. I also know a, b, I can think of it as this scenario, but I just want them to be perpendicular. So if I take a, b, and if I dot product with the direction vector of the line, so I go 2, 0, 1, dot product with AB, which is negative 2 plus 2t, 7, negative 6 plus t. If I dot product and make it equal to 0, that will ensure they're perpendicular. And so then I get just negative 4 plus 4t plus 0, minus 6 plus t is equal to 0. And so if I rearrange this, I get 5t is equal to 10, and so t is 2. And so t equals 2 means that they are perpendicular. Hence, find the shortest distance from A to line L1. Well, if I can find this point B, then I can find the magnitude of AB, and that will in essence find me the shortest distance. So I'm going to take AB, I'm going to find the magnitude of AD, and I know T is 2. T is 2, I'm going to plug it in. So I'm going to get negative 2 plus 4 is 2. 7 and negative 2 plus 2 is a negative 4. And so I'm going to look for the magnitude of this vector which is going to be 4 plus 49 plus 16 if I square it, which is 20, which I get the square root of 69 is the shortest distance from A to B because they are perpendicular.